Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and what we're going to be doing today on uh, on YouTube, which I think is really kind of cool, is that we're going to be exploring this loose style of painting that everybody seems to be enjoying. How you know this is a flower garden, sort of almost abstract. It really is sort of a semi-abstract painting. You know, we know these are flowers. You can tell these are wagon wheels. Are they perfectly painted wagon wheels? No, but they certainly imply wagon wheels and a flower garden and in what we call a very, very loose style. Now what's sort of different about this video than so maybe some you've seen recently, this video is around an hour, and what I wanted to share with you is the idea that while we're traveling is that people have asked, well what are the lessons like on your um, on your on your uh, gallery website. We have an art academy with over 350 uh, lessons in our video lesson library starting with the very very basic paintings to the most advanced and so someone will say well what are, let me just zoom in on that a little bit here, can we zoom in? Yeah. Um, what are, you know, what's the difference between some of the live lessons on YouTube? The difference is that you're just getting my voice, not John's, and we're, our goal is to really focus on your art lesson and teaching you the ins and outs of painting. And for instance, a lot of times on our website, I will design a painting as I'm painting it, and you'll understand how I came to the process of, you know, picking colors where I put the lights and darks when I added this. For instance, I started out with just one wheel, ended up adding a second, that kind of thing. So this is a really good example of that. Lessons like an hour long. A lot of the lessons on our website are two and three hours long. They're much longer, but you can always pause. And they come with a monthly subscription. They come with personal art coaching. So for $9.95, you can try us for a week and just have access, not just one lesson, but any ones that you please. But for um, under $30 a month and a lot less than that if you're a senior or a vet, you can uh, get access to new lessons every week, ones that are, ne that are not on YouTube, but also are just me and you working together the ins and outs of painting something. And uh, this is a great example of that, and I think you'll really like it. And if you're enjoying this, um, I want to just say this was an 8x10 canvas that I painted yellow first and let dry, but you could even paint it this light green color. I thought the yellow worked out really well. Um, I've, the colors are just, the only thing I added was magenta, either design magenta or some sort of quadrichrome magenta, a red, a cad red, a yellow oxide we didn't use that much of. You can see I've got a big pile of it left. Yellow we use quite a bit of, purple, ultramarine blue, thalo blue, and white. So those were the main colors that we used. No greens. We mix. We learned to mix all the greens in this. I think you're going to like that, which is kind of a cool thing. And now let me just get this out of the way and show you because what I'm talking about, there's some a couple other uh, videos on YouTube that also talk about this loose style of painting. You see like these pears again in this loose style or these grapefruit. Now look at, do you see the similarity in how these backgrounds and everything are done. Some things are in detail and some things are out of focus. And the one way to learn how to do something is do enough of it. You know, do several things that are that and then you sort of get it. But you see that our color palettes aren't that different. These colors that are in here, you see them over here and down in here. I keep similar color palettes when we're painting but show you all the different things. This is a primarily sort of green with some, you know, red accents and, you know, sort of these, these blue tones on the wheel. We talk about how we pick colors, what we do. That's all in this video. I think you're really going to like it. And I would uh, ask you, if you like these, to put these videos in your playlist, kind of keep them together, and also to share them. We appreciate that. That helps other people find us. And like each, for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing more one-on-one -on -one paintings, just ginger and news, so you can kind of see what our lessons are like on our site. And I hope you really enjoyed doing this. I thought it was a lot of fun. Okay, so the first thing I want to do after putting our paint out is titanium white, magenta, cad red medium, thalo blue, green shade if you're using Liquitex, otherwise it's just thalo blue. Ultramarine blue, red shade if you're using Liquitex, otherwise it's just ultramarine blue. Um, Dazzling purple, cad yellow medium, and yellow oxide. Those are the colors we're going to do. And the first thing I want to do is get this a uh, wheel on. So I'm going to start kind of off center. If this is the middle of my 8x10 canvas, I've just got a yellow background, just cad yellow medium dry, right? 
I'm going to start off here and make a kind of a circle like this. There you go, just to kind of bring this around, this sort of half circle like this. Now it changes here and comes this way, kind of in an arch. I think you want to think of it as an arch. Now this is what gets interesting. If you do put a little line down like this, this sort of disappears this way into our circle. You don't see that anymore. And this side comes this way. And then there's an inside piece right about here that's doing that. All right, so that's the, all the drawing there is. It's really just the letter U upside down. Like It's really pretty simple. So you're talking about this is coming across like this. There you go. And then out around here like that. Here we go. Just keep that arch going. And then we've got, I think that's all we need to know for now. You, everybody, you always talk about what do I absolutely need to know. What I need to know is that this is coming like this. And this is pretty wide right here. Okay. I'm going to come out here like that. Just sort of reshape that. So I'm going to start with a little angle brush. It's going to be damp, not wet. Start with a little angle brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and make some yellow and cad red medium, make like an orange color, add a drop of purple to it, a little bit more orange color, a little bit more cad red medium, a little bit more yellow. Okay, tiny bit more purple. There we go. So I've sort of got this rust brown color. I'm going to come up here like this and paint that in. I think if you have your you're at the start of your rusty circle, it's going to make a lot more sense to you, don't you think? So let's just, sometimes it, you just almost need a, a place to spring off from. And because this is a pretty busy background with the, um, um, with all these flowers and stuff and, and lights and, and kind of abstract background a little bit, I think it's helpful to have, um, this kind of thing, you know, fairly well cemented in, things that you know. Now, what happens when you paint over chalk is that your chalk uh, starts to get into your brush and it drags. So don't worry about that. Just know that it's going to do it. Rinse, your, rinse the chalk out of your brush once in a while. Now let's take a little ultramarine blue and add to that quite a bit, actually. And uh, a little more ultramarine blue. Then we get kind of a dark gray color when we did that. We made this sort of dark, almost charcoal gray color. We're going to come in here like that and paint this in like that. And again, this is what we would call a pretty fine edge as far as a hard edge goes. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and come under here like it comes about this far over like that. comes about like to there. Now again, I'm picking up chalk, so I'm going to rinse my brush, get, get, get a little bit more of this paint, okay, like so. Now I'm going to get even darker on the inside. I'm going to say on the inside of this, we'll put red and purple together, cad red, medium, and purple. Make this very dark on the inside, like that, right next to here. So that's the, this is, sometimes you just have to make yourself a map. You know, and let's get a little dark on the outside of this too, like that. There we go. We're going to make our map here. And I want to make sure I have this nice and dark. And I want a, kind of a dark line that's coming up above this wheel, like that. And this is kind of dark on this side. And this is coming over this way. I think I'll just grab a little orange. Kind of flatten this out, almost straight. Do you see that? And then this is coming down. So make sure that the top of this is almost flat when you do it. Okay? There. All right. So you're going, huh, Ginger? I don't know. I don't get it. That's okay. This is where we have you got to start somewhere. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white. Take a little bit of white. And I'm just going to come along the inside of here, this little, little purple color. And just dry brush this on here just a little bit like this. Kind of lighten this up just a hair. All right. We're just going to do that. There we go. We want a little dark line there. There. Okay. So that's what we got. That's sort of our wheel here. Now we're going to put other colors on it, but at least I'm pretty much sure that I know. And I think I need it a little bit wider as it comes down this way. So let's just always widen it up. There we go. 
All right, there we go. Perfect. Now what? Well, I'm going to put the small brush away and get a larger brush, and I'm going to start working on the background. I've got my wheel in here, so I'm going to start with white and a little bit of yellow, mostly white, tiny bit of phthalo blue, like a drop, and make sort of a, ooh, look at that. Boy, that wasn't a drop at all, was it? Well, it's like kryptonite. Okay, so now, when you get something like this and you don't want that color, I guess I could put some of that color up in here. I'll just do that because I know I want it somewhere a little darker color with it like that. All right, but I basically don't want that color. I want it a lot wider, so I'm going to just come over here and mix it over here with a little more yellow and make sort of this light color, this very pale light green color, okay? And I will pick that up, and I'm going to come over here in the corner. Let me just rinse the brush off because it looks, still looks too green for me. I need a little bit of yellow and more white. There we go. Uh, that's it. A little tiny bit of that blue. Okay, want a little bit greener. There we go. So I'm going to come over here like this, and it's it's a nice if if I if I miss something uh, over this yellow canvas, this will be fine. I just kind of blend that in like this, kind of lighten this all up in here. And this is my second layer, so some of that yellow shows through. I'm good with that. I'm going to come under here like this, underneath our wheel and add this lighter color. Now don't get too much water with this. Make sure you have this light enough because this is where our light's going to be kind of sh shining through. Almost white up in here. i going to add a bit more of that color to this because my other colors are a little darker and I want them to all bleed through so I'm using the side of a brush to kind of just bleed this out. Come a little closer here. Alright, now, now what? Well, this side of our canvas, I think I can make a gray color, so I'll take some white, ultramarine blue, and a little cadmium medium, and make sort of a light gray purple color. I want to come up over in here and add this color. Now everything is going to get layered, so these are just our basic um, colors. We have to put something somewhere. We got to start somewhere. So these are some basic colors that I want to add. Now I kind of like that purple color. I'm going to pinch it off my brush here and then very gently, so where could I put that? Could I start bringing some brush strokes? You see how I'm pulling the brush toward me like this in the wheel, changing the direction of it. Coming under here, this is still a little damp, but just saying, okay, I want this to be a little bit, um, just going to dry brush some texture on here like this, underneath this wheel keeping that dark line is just going to disappear. Okay, and you're going, I don't know Ginger, I don't get it. Hang in there with me, we'll get it. Now let's make this a little darker purple coming up here. A little bit of darker purple with ultramarine blue. Purple and a little cad red medium. Maybe a touch of yellow. A little cad red medium. A little more purple. I want sort of this dark color. I want to come on over in here and I think I want some sort of dark purpley shadow over in this area with a little more cad red medium to it that'll gray it out. Let's take a little bit about that much on your brush. See what I'm doing? And I'm going to start adding some colors next to here, next to this wheel here. Okay, this old wheel. Let's see. Maybe I want some of this color up in here. Okay. Start blending in some colors. All right. Now, if I add a little more phthalo blue to that and a little yellow, I almost get a dark green. So I could come up here like that with some dark green and maybe add some of this color. Now, remember, acrylics start with, generally you start with your lightest colors first and start working your way into others. So maybe I'll put a little more yellow there. I'll lighten that up just a hair, but still keep it more in the olive tones. Okay. And I'm just going to come on up here like that and start melting in this background. Some really pretty, I think the, the idea of this abstract flower against the wheel is really nice where the background is very sort of painted out and obscure. That would be the word I'm going for here. I want it very obscure so I can add a little more white to what's on my brush. That comes up with the gray. I can put that gray over here too. See how I'm just kind of almost the way you would do an abstract? It really is abstract flowers. People always say this is 
really kind of figurative abstract flowers where everything's sort of out of focus and you're sort of melting one color into another. Now look how I'm layering these colors. Okay, so it's a little more purple than I want here. So I'll layer that in like that. Maybe I'll take a little bit of green and so I want a little green coming up here down from the top. Maybe I'll layer that in. Okay. So let's let's see if we can't zoom in a bit on this, okay? There, I'm gonna just zoom in on the picture. You can see now at this point I'll rinse the brush. Okay. And then using just the side of it, I can just fuzz those edges out because the, the, everything still hasn't dried too much yet. So just rinsing it and then just taking the side of the brush and fudging. I want to make more of this light, that light kind of yellow green color. That was pretty. So let's pull some of this up this way. Almost got some, it's still kind of a light green kind of white color. Bring that close to the wheel like that. Okay, I've got some more of that, maybe some of that next to this in here. And how about up in here? Do we want a little of this color up in there? Okay, we can get away with some stuff like that because we're still playing with our colors. We're going to have green all down in here, but I could bring some of this down just a little bit. It came down this way. Now as we get down to the bottom, the color underneath the color in this picture, it's a very light green. So this is a, almost, a, if you can see me mixing, this is really too bright. So I'm going to take white, come over here, and just ignore that pile and do this. All right, and maybe a little tiny yellow oxide in there to kind of tone it back. And I want to come down into here. It's almost a mint green, okay? That's my underpainting color. It's this color that's underneath the color that's underneath the color that's underneath the color. You're going, what? And I'm going, yep, that's what I'm telling you. So you, you said, I thought, we should, why did we just start with that color? Well, we could have, but I thought it might be interesting to start with the yellow background. Okay, so we're just going to, that purple's still um, wet, so when I do this, it kind of lightens that up right there. Maybe put a little bit of white right here like this next to our wheel, like that. Kind of give it a little depth now. Back to our green color, all down in here, we're going to have this light green color, a little bit more white, okay, a little lot more white, I think, kind of a mint green is what I'm going for here next to my, um, my wheel, okay, come right up here like this, all right, let's just paint all of this down here into the greens. Don't, try not to make it all one color. It's much more interesting. And see how many green, many shades of this light green you can make. Kind of tones. Can you put a little more yellow oxide in it? Change it up a bit. You know, do something a little different. Okay, so we're going to say that coming up here like this, there's our some, some sort of green business up in here like this. Okay, so that's about as much as we can do, let me zoom back out, we really can't do much more than that without drying it. So what we want to do now is just pause, okay, and dry it. All right, you ready for that? We're going to pause and dry it. And just let that sit for a minute. Oops. All right, pausing and drying. All right, so we paused and dried it. We're going to go back to our small angle brush, and uh, we're going to work some more on the background, but do it a little bit smaller here. Let's take a little bit of yellow and cad red medium, make kind of a pretty orange color. I want some sort of bright orange color up in here like this. I'm not going to talk about it too much. Maybe coming down this way in our garden. And if I add a little bit of magenta and white to that, I get this sort of peach color. Okay, maybe that, and then over in here too, maybe want a little bit of peach. Okay, now, here's the thing. I'm going to just take my angle brush and wipe the paint off. I'm going to start dry brushing this sort of, barely touch it, this sort of peach color. You put it on your brush, wipe it all off, and we're going to 
just come right through. this this rusty wheel okay now here's the trick this rusty wheel has all kinds of colors in it okay and if we add a little more orange to that come on down here like this but to try to keep it very where you're just sort of scraping the the paint on here like that maybe there's a little ultramarine blue and white okay that's sort of that not thalo but ultramarine okay like that let's find a little bit of blue now maybe I've got a little bit of blue coming on this wheel like this a couple of places come down this way with it okay so see I'm sort of putting in these interesting tones I like that blue color where else could I put it could I put a little bit of blue this way kind of come around like this and add kind of drag some blue just in a few places over that purple okay this is really how you layer and it's kind of cool how it works um, I know for instance that we want um, something much darker back up here like this so I might just go into one of the dark colors now that this has had a chance to dry so here's the darkest edge right there of this like that the same thing here we're going to have a a line coming across like this um, just tap it in there like that and then we want to make sure we have a dark line this is purple and ultramarine blue in case you're wondering what it is we want to come up here like this make sure that we've got that dark line right here like that okay so now what well what I know for sure is I've got a line coming here's our dark this is straight up and down here this is this well it's gonna actually it's kind of angles a little bit okay and then underneath this I think I'll draw it in because we've got underneath this I've got let's see if I got a piece of chalk I can use so I'm going to draw this in I've got this line coming down here and a V alright there's a V going on here like this and this way but this is going to get covered up with flowers and then over here somewhere there's a another spoke that's coming and really we're not even going to talk about the talk about the rest of it so let's take a little bit of ultramarine blue now and paint this in because in this abstract what we're doing is we're other than just sort of hoping for the best and throwing paint around we're actually um, we're making something but then we're gonna we're making it so vague that you don't necessarily see it so um, you have to look at it for a minute that's all oh, those are flowers and so we're gonna just this is coming up somehow on the inside of this somewhere like that I've just got ultramarine blue at this point coming down like this and it's gonna melt into our garden and then I want to take some purple come under here because I want this much darker than I had it under here in the beginning I want this really dark under here like that and I've got this one is dark coming down this way too okay I got something coming down this way all right now okay so now what well I know that that's there so I'm going to same colors I've got a little bit of white I'm going to maybe come up here like this and add a little purple up in here like that um, add a little bit of white and purple kind of just tap that over some of these like this like that just not too much but just suggest that that might be like this um, same thing here just tap that okay now so far so good okay I, what appealed to me about this and I'll have to tell you what appealed to me is that when I was a kid we had uh, you know country property and uh, and also later when I was when Cinnamon was young growing up my daughter Cinnamon we had country property I just want this sort of orange color here dark dark orange we had country property and you know you know a wagon wheel like this was you know was probably put in a flower bed for decoration it wasn't like we actually had an old wagon and we just had an extra wheel lying around it really was probably more than likely just put in, you know just added as some sort of decoration to your to your yard my mother was always dragging sagebrush home and old wooden barrels and stuff like that Okay. so now all right so we've got all that now this was that peach color which is white 
and cad red medium and a little yellow makes a really good peach color. Okay, so that's sort of the sand peach color. And that's the top of this this little board right here that's coming down like this, kind of disappearing into this one. Okay, and we've got some of this color right on here too. Maybe we're going to say it's brighten it up. Let's add a little more red to that. There, okay. Brighten this up right here, kind of drag it, add a little bit more, maybe even widen this. I think I could have gotten this a little wider right there. <coughs> so, okay, you guys, this is fun, right? So you're having fun. And anyway, we that, that's kind of the, you know, the, we sort of lived, you know, we lived in the country, so there was a, had horses, was growing up as a kid. And, you know, that just sort of came with it was all this kind of stuff, you know, the garden with the, you know, weird wagon wheel and all these things like that. All right, so now I'm not really talking about anything else in here. I'm going to just start putting in, uh, in my abstract, I'm going to start putting in some darker green colors now. And, um, well, we almost have a darker purple color. We almost have something right in here that I'm not going to talk about. Just a little magenta with it. Right in here, there's just some sort of dark thing right here, and I've got something dark coming up in here like this. Just going to add a few little dark things. And I'm not even sure at this point what they are. I only want to have enough of this um, where uh, you, you're... Um, we're implying wagon wheel without really saying it's there. You know, that's the trick. Can we imply a wagon wheel in this abstract and, and not get too carried away? So you've seen the final, you've seen the finished product. You're watching me paint this as I go. So I'm designing this as I go. So I'm going to add some more orange up in here like that. It's a little bit more red. Add a little bit more orange here. Come up to the top of this. Bring some color down. Bring a little bit more color on the top of that. Maybe just red like that. That's Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. And then we'll see where we have to start adding flowers and drawing again. Flowers are kind of the last thing that I'm adding, but that's okay. So, all right. So we were back in the last time I looked, we were back into some of these greens. So thalo blue and yellow. A little yellow oxide. We've got some sort of, we've got some greens coming up, let's make it a little bit darker here. We've got some greens coming up around our here, and like in here like this. We're just going to say there's some some green, all right? And then I want to kind of cross over my wagon wheel in front like this. And I want to say that there's some darker greens. Okay, now, I know this is, I know we're saying it's abstract, but on the other hand, I want to say that what we've got going here is just the leaves for these flowers, all right? Just the leaves for these flowers. So let's get a little bit more water on the brush. Kind of, we need this a little bit looser. So we're going to come up here, cross with some of this dark stuff, bring this up all under the wheel, and get make a place, neat kind of room place for these flowers that are going to be hiding under this wagon wheel kind of thing from all this dark stuff. Does that make sense? Let's get a little bit more yellow. It's going to come up here like this, a little bit of white. There we go. All right, too much white here. Okay. All right, now at some point I have to dry it because otherwise the, the green and the brown and all that stuff is going to get all kind of mucky. But I'm going to just say that here's some... In other words, I wasn't too worried about what you did down here at the bottom as far as our wagon wheel went, because we're saying that we've got a bunch of, you know, green coming up here, some darker greens, you know, that's kind of coming up in this way. And this is our, um, you know, our, our beautiful kind of Irish garden growing out of here like that. So what's happened here is that this needs to be a lot lighter. So what I need to do here for you guys, and I'm just going to show you, is that this white is all contaminated. So let's put some new white out, okay, like that. And I need it much lighter. So I'm going to come up here like this with the white, and I need a much lighter, a little magenta in it. 
little bit of yellow. I'll try that for an orange. Okay, here, now it's almost a flesh color. See this? It's almost, it, look, look. See my finger? It's almost a flesh color, isn't it? So what I want to say is that light, that's light, lighter up here, and I want to wipe the paint off the brush, and what I do is you put it on, and then you dry brush it off, and I want to get, see, make sure I have this wider. Didn't really have this wheel wide enough right here. Okay. Now I don't want that. Okay, I barely touch it. Maybe a little bit of more orange right up in here, like that. Barely touching it. Same over here. Let's get this a little lighter here, like that. On this one. Uh, okay. So you can see that th this value here is very important. How light this is will make a big difference as far as, you know, the balance of our, of our wagon wheel. And now, let's see, we need probably, remember the old adage, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So let's take a little blue and purple and, um, maybe even some magenta and imply that there's something happening over here. We're not really hardly even talking about, but we're going to say it's just over here like that. And maybe a little white. Tap that in. Pinch the brush. Do you like the sound effects? This is the next layer of light color that I'm doing into my picture. Think, people think that when you're doing stuff like this, it's, um, you know, you just put some paint on it. And it's really about, it's really about layers. I mean, this whole thing is all about layers. And I kind of like that. That was a pretty color, whatever, wherever I found that. That was nice. Did I find that? That was nice. I might want some of that right here like this. Okay, maybe something right here. Uh, maybe something right here. That was almost a periwinkle blue, wasn't it? Maybe something. Let's put a little white with that. Kind of purple, blue, white. Now, I'm going to come up under here. Barely touch it. And uh, just add some of this color. Okay. So still darker, though. All right. So... I think at this point, we would not be amiss. I could, this is going to be darker right under this wagon wheel right here. Wherever this is, let's put a little magenta with it. It's very dark right here on the inside of this. Okay. Make this a little darker. Maybe it's a little bit of red right here. Make that dark. Let's make a really dark green with yellow and ultramarine blue and some phthalo blue. Let's make some real dark green in here, down in here, like that. Okay. Okay, so we got some dark green, and we got some sort of dark green over here, too. Okay, so now we're going to dry it, and then we're going to add the flowers. Okay, so, all right, we should be going again here. I think we are. Yeah, so, all right, so here's our wagon wheel. Now what I want to do is... Um, you know, add some flowers. So I'm going to take some um, purple and magenta, kind of mix those together and add a little white to those. A little bit of ultramarine blue even, maybe. All right, that's pretty. Okay. I want to come up here like this and making kind of little cup shapes. I want to apply, there's a, some flowers up here. The same thing here. We're just going to take these little cup shapes at this point. And say that there's flowers here, like this. And then right in front of our wagon wheels, add a little bit more white to that and pink. Here we go. Just add a little bit of pink. A little bit of white on top. Barely touch it. Now, this is this is where you're, if you're doing wet on wet, you barely want to touch it, right? We're going to say that there's some little light flowers in here. Got something really pretty. Coming up under here like this, western scene here. Okay. Now let's figure out where else we're going to put these. We know we want a big flower, really with the magenta at first. We're going to put some magenta flower right here, and the same thing here. Let's say this is why I wasn't too worried about where all these um, little spokes and things went, because I've got another flower kind of coming up here like that over this. And we've got another nice big one right here. 
coming over this part. I'm just using the magenta at this point to kind of lock the colors in. And then we'll come up with the mother stuff. Okay. So now if we add a little bit of white and cad red medium and white to that magenta, we can brighten this up a bit and uh, maybe add some pinks in here like that. Okay. Let's add a few little Okay, cad red medium, magenta, and a little white. Makes a pretty bright color. Because that's what I'm looking for now. It's some bright, bright, bright colors. And I want to come under here like that and add a few of those here too. Before I have to dry anything, okay? I haven't dried anything. I'm just putting in the flowers. Okay? Okay, just coming in here like that kind of, let's do a little purple and white too. That's often very pretty. A little purple and white. Let's just add, get it lighter. Okay, like this. Maybe a little bit of purple and white over here like that. A little bit of purple and white up here. We already have it over there. Okay. So then you're going, okay, now what? Well, I want to take a little bit of purple and I want to come up under this wheel a little bit more. Trim this up just a bit higher like that. Okay. Kind of, you know, straighten that out. And I want to bring this all the way across here. I want, we've got some, um, let's see, we're all out of white, so let's put some more out. There's a little bit of purple and white with the flowers over here that are growing kind of on this side of the wheel like that. And um, okay, they're growing here. Now let's get into the white. Seriously, see, just a little glob of white on the brush and see if you can't. Okay, that's the highlight of these is on the top, okay? So again, it's very abstract. There's, you know, we're saying there's the highlight right into the white paint. Okay, and then the same thing up here like this. Barely touch it, get some more, just dab it, kind of give it a little spin, and say, here's a flower. Here's a flower, more white paint. I mean, we could dry it, but when you touch it, what happens is you're mixing, you're getting all kinds of colors and shades of pink when you do this, all right, that you wouldn't get normally um, when you just first started doing this. You just wouldn't get it at all. Because once it's dry, it wouldn't blend as well. Because this white is, if you're barely touching it, it's blending into all of this. Okay? So, before I get too much further with drying it, okay, I want, I want to say, well, this is still wet. There's some pink here. Okay? I want to say that there's some flowers coming, coming up this way. Okay? Into my wagon wheel. Okay? So what could I do? I could let that dry for a second. Come under here, something real dark. This top side right here, it's got to be really dark here. Okay, we're good. We're still good here. Coming around this way. And we do have a dark part of this wheel coming this way, coming on down. I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in here, but we've got this dark part uh, coming down this way. It's a little thinner than you see it, but it's coming this way. And it's going to be kind of on the inside of that, like this. All right, so there's our dark part of the wheel coming down like that. Now we need something darker. So for this, remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So I want a darker flower here to make this this part of the outside of that wheel show up. That's one of your tricks: is you want to have you know balance your lights and darks so that happens just the way you want it. Of course, I want it a little bit darker under here, right where it would, this little post would meet that wheel. Okay. Same thing here. I'll just pull that darker down here like that. Okay, now what? Well, let's take some white and um, cad red medium, make it kind of a bright color. Just pull some more bright flowers like this. Let's add a few in here. Um, 
like that. Let's just put it, put in, we're putting in a few. Before I go too much further with this, um, purple and yellow are complements. So if I take a little bit of yellow and white, I can add, I might want to add some sort of yellow flowers too. I mean, it wouldn't have to be anything too fancy. Just, I might want to add it because if we're going to be doing purple, um, just having a few of these would be nice before we go ahead and um, uh, add more greens. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm talking about. Before we go ahead and add more greens to this, to our flower garden, because that's where we're going to get in here now with some really bright, uh, pretty greens and some dark purples. Make sure we have enough uh, dark purples in here before we dry it. Coming under here like this, make sure I have some neat, deep, dark, oh, uh, deep, dark purples in here too. There we go. Just a few little touches of that on these flowers. Okay. You don't need to do coat too crazy on us, but just, just a few. All right. So we got some dark purples. That's good. I like that. And, um, see, we're coming across here like this. And we want this line here to be ultramarine blue and purple. I want this to be a very hard line right here. There we go. Very hard line there. We've got that. All right, let's pause and dry and then see what we have. Okay, so I've got a pretty good drawing thing going here. Now I've decided that what I want to do is I want to add the other wheel. And I'm going to change this just a little bit, which I can do. I'm going to just say that there's another wheel coming back here like this. I think I want to try that and just see. I think I kind of like that idea of this other wheel. Let's see, I need a darker brown chalk. So if I'm having that happen here, I've got to have this probably more down like that. And I want to say I've got another wheel out of a smaller one in back that's just going to disappear back behind here like that. It's going to be much more at a steeper oval like that. And that, all right, so let's put that in, see what, how we like that. The thing about acrylic paints is I just like to be able to change my mind. Sometimes I'll look at something and decide how much detail I want to put into the picture, if, if any. You know what I mean? How much detail do we want to add here? So I want to say that I've got this. Um, there we go, like that. I've got this, the top of this. This, this coming like that, all right, like that. It's going to stop right there, okay? And then my gray part is going to come up here like this, like that. And this is going to come back here like that with some blue and gray in here like this. So we're going to suggest, I'm not going to, you know, make it too detailed, but I want to suggest that that's a second wheel coming. And if I'm saying that happened, then I need to, and I've dried everything, you've got to dry everything. I, I need to lighten up the background more to go kind of back in here. If I'm going to say that that happened here, I want to kind of put a little bit of light here and just imply some spokes, but we're not going to actually put any in. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm going to just imply that there's something there and I'm going to just change the angle of this down here like that. I mean this is really you know really sort of fun to do when you're just saying all right I'm going to design a picture I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just say here's my wheel like that and I'm just going to say the top of this is coming around all oh, I love these angle brushes because you've got such control over them, right? Somehow coming down here and then disappearing into that, all right? So that's kind of my goal here, is to say that's what happened. And then um, I want a little bit darker as it comes under here, like that and meets this. 
maybe comes down into here somehow, okay? So, all right, so there's, now we've got this sort of double wheel, and then maybe there's some light, um, you know, like this is a spoke, and we're saying that's a spoken one, and I don't want to talk about it. Do you like it? I'm just not going to talk about those. All right, we're just going to kind of apply something happened there, and something happened. Oh, let's do something really light up here. That'll be fun. Let's do something like this with some ultramarine blue, make kind of an electric light blue. Um, let's just say that the light of this is coming this way. Maybe like that. I don't know. Let's do something like that. More more ultramarine blue. You know, people have asked me, if I, if I joined the Academy, what would a lesson be like, right? And this is what it would be like. There's not John and I kidding around. It's just me telling you how to paint something. And a lot of times you're going to see my design process when I'm painting something. Okay, absolutely will. That's that's one of the keys here is that I um, want a little bit of this blue color on this like that. Can I indicate some rust? The same thing here like that. Um, a little yellow. And, uh, cad red medium makes an orange. I'll come back up here. Remember, this is almost flat across the top and coming this way. So this is very much what like uh, what an academy lesson uh, might be like. I like these sort of orange flowers here. I might want to put something in here like that. Suggest an orange flower in here. Cad red, medium, and yellow. I like that. And I think I want to say something's uh, similar to this too, it's maybe over in here too, there might be something coming up this way um, that might be orange, okay? So then you said you ask yourself, here's some cad red medium, um, when, you're, when you're playing with that color, can you add a little bit, of, flowers are rarely just one color, so can you, if you add a bit of cad red medium, how would that be? Like that, just to brighten something up. Okay, so so far we're pretty good, but what we're kind of missing is the really light greens. And red and green are complements. And so if you're trying to paint um, uh, green and uh, red at the same time, you're going to have a hot mess. You have to dry in between, which is why you see me constantly pausing and drying. I mean, that's my thing. I have to do that. I constantly have to pause and dry. Alright, so let's just make this a little lighter here, like that. And I think we'll take some green, kind of get rid of that orange stuff here, and we'll just do some green back up in here like this. Remember, this is our abstract. So we get a, we get a little leeway here about what we're putting back up here in our picture. Alright, abstract flowers with wheels. I think it's kind of cool, right? So what I'm looking for now is some really pretty bright greens, all right? That's absolutely what I'm looking for. So if I put in a, that's got to be yellow and phthalo blue. We're going to make some really bright ones, okay? And maybe a bit of white. All right, I want some really, really light greens in here. Um, remember, we had one coming across the wheel like this. Um, some actual kind of leaf shapes like that. And since I want these bright, okay, and the same thing here, let's put a little more white with this, and if I said that this flower was here, now that didn't dry that, so I've got one shot at putting something through it, kind of breaking that flower up, otherwise I'd have to dry it. Um, so you can kind of do it once, but you got to be really careful. Alright, so then we're going to say that we've got some um, green coming up this way. How about some beautiful leaves this way and kind of through our flower like that. Okay? It, it just, you know, this is really, let's get some brighter greens going here. One of the neat ways to be able to um, paint stuff is to now let's lighten that up. Let's have something crossing through that like this. How about there? How about a leaf that's coming like that, down like that? Okay, I like that. Maybe something coming up this way. Okay. 
This bothers me a little bit. Somebody was asking what we were doing with all of this. I would say we needed something maybe not that bright, but we needed something breaking up some of this in here. And because this is very light, I've got to have something very dark here. So let's try a real dark blue-green color next to our wheel right in here like that. So that that, you know, that pushes that, that wheel forward. Okay. And uh, again, you're talking about wherever there's a light, there's a dark. And so, you know, you're just kind of looking, you're saying, where could I put, I've got some plants that I want to come up this way with. Maybe a little greener than that. Okay. Crossing over some of these. One stroke here. You go, well, it's an abstract in a sense, but it's really a figurative abstract because you've got these flowers and you've got this wheel, but you're really not, everything's sort of just sort of out of focus. And I think I want to come up here to the top, a little bit of dark, darker color, kind of like up at this corner and maybe darken something up in here with a green, maybe like that. That's nice. Imply that there's some reason why there's some darker green up here at the top. And what about down here? Yeah, maybe just across that right here at the bottom. Okay. So now, here we go. Light, there's a dark. Okay. So now what could we do? Well, for me, the main thing probably would be to get some really bright, you know, kind of play with the flowers. Maybe play with this a little more. Um, um, what I want to say is I want to play with, maybe make this a little bit lighter in here. Right like that. And then we have this light enough here, right here. Do I have this light? Okay, just, just doing that. That's pretty good. Um, some sort of light going up in here like that. Okay, like that. And I really like this light here. Can we lighten up some grasses in here like this? Can we lighten up something like that? Bring some really, really almost a light mint green, keeping it kind of toward the front. Okay. What can we put, what can we add and not ruin the effect? It's kind of what we're going for here. The tip of that might be a little darker. And the light green, light across this part. Okay. Same thing here. Light there. All right. So we're sort of connecting those flowers. All right. So now... Let's dry everything one more time and take a little bit. We're almost done. I think we got very close to this. We're almost done. I think what we want to do now is just dry it and then work a little bit on a few of these flowers and bring a couple of these out in more detail. Okay, so what might I do? Well, for one thing, I want to take... Um, I want some light yellow with white. Um, like some really light yellow. Like this. I want a little light yellow over here, maybe in this. Like that. Just kind of something like that. Just, you know, everybody says wherever there's a light, there's a dark. And I kind of want that there. Um, um, maybe a little bit light right there underneath that, just bring that down a little more. Um, one thing what light yellow will do is you can break up, if you've got too much of a flower, you know, too big a flower, you can kind of erase a bit if you've dried it just by adding a little bit of touch of light green somewhere. You can erase something like that. You can just look there and add a little bit of something. That's really fun when you do that. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then I'd like the outside of this wheel, and I just almost need to turn my picture sideways. I really want the outside of this to be a solid line that I haven't lost the edge on. Okay, how's that? 
Yeah, that's, be that's better. Then I want to just kind of make sure I have not lost the edge on this at all. Okay? That's good. And maybe up here, how light could I make this? Maybe right up here at the top. I had it darker, but I think I'd like it lighter. The same thing here, right up at the top. Okay? I think I'd like it a little bit lighter. Okay? Like that. That's pretty. Now, could we get something really bright going with some orange? Here's the thing. You guys, people always say, what colors could you buy? This is some um, uh, Matisse... Um, Matisse orange. It's just a light orange color. You can mix yellow and um, and any kind of reds together and in an orange, but it will rarely get anything as bright as this. Is if you buy actually buy an orange, and I want you to see the difference when we buy when I add an orange. Look what it did. Look what the colors did. If I add yellow to that, I mean it's really light. Okay. I want to just maybe touch up something in a few spots. You know, maybe touch up a flower or apply it. And remember, they're just odd shapes at this point. We haven't we haven't done total detail on flowers, okay? But it is sort of, I mean, I do kind of like that, right? That we've got that. The other thing I might consider doing is the same thing with the, um, with the reds. Here's some, um, here's a red, okay? And uh, just a, you know, pure red color. And now let's go back here with a pink. Look at how bright that pink is. What if we came back here on just a touch of these, okay, on these flowers, and added a few little bright spots of this color. Maybe even into the, let's see, what do we got? Some sort of pure red color like that. They added a bit more color. So this is these are the kinds of things I'm thinking about. Pure magenta and white. All right. Maybe I want to do a second layer of colors of that. Just a drop or two. Reds are the kind of colors you can add a few times to. Let's go into the white now. I want to go back here with some touches of white. So um, that white's dirty. Let's start with clean white somewhere. Okay. That's key. Now, it's very touching it, hardly any. So there's some white here. Maybe there's some white here. I don't want every flower white. But maybe there's a part of a couple of these that are brighter than the others. Let's just come on up here to these little purple flowers that were over here, too. So there's some right there. Like that. Here's something white. And um, some white going back behind here. There we go. Something like that. I don't know. I think I'd almost like that to be yellow, not white. Here. Okay, like that. Just bring some yellow. Pure yellow now. Just you're starting to play with... Flowers are one of the few things, you guys, you can do right out of the tube. You can do that right out of the tube, and that's kind of neat. Right? Let's say there's some yellow up here like that with that orange. Okay. So there you see, now we've got this... I think kind of a cool looking uh, wagon wheel, a couple of them, and uh, I'm going to do a little color surprise here on the edge, a little turquoise, right on the edge of this. It doesn't hurt, you know what I mean, to, it's, it's not, it's, it's, you know, it's really more abstract, so now I'm just playing with our colors, orange and Turquoise are compliments, so if I put a little turquoise there, it's I'm making it up, but if I put a little turquoise there, it's, it's going to go against that orange and be very pretty. Okay, see that? I mean, I don't have to put it everywhere, but just there, okay? And uh, maybe I'll put, here's a little orange, maybe I'll add a little bit this color over here. Just slide your eye over there with it. That's a little bit, right? And let's see, something dark over here, this sort of line here, this, this is sort of break in the band, break in the band up here. You know, I don't mind having some dark outlining, 
Maybe I want it a little bit darker here as we get closer to this flower, like that. Just not, you know, it doesn't all have to be one color. So, so we're sort of simplifying it, if that makes sense. I'm trying to simplify it and um, still keep the abstract because I'll tell you what, the biggest temptation will be to just, just keep adding stuff till it looks more and more like a wheel and less and less like an abstract. And that's not my intention when we painted it. I wanted to have the feel, kind of this feel of an abstract without it actually being an abstract. I mean, without actually, you know, well, it's an abstract, but, you know, you can tell there's flowers in a wagon wheel, but then it's not photorealism either. So here, this is a very nice, light, there, I want that across that flower. I want something very light coming out of here like this. Um, make sure that I have some of these little dots of light. Here, where do I want that little dot of light? Okay, so that's what we're doing here, playing with the lights and the darks. Okay, that's all that we're ever doing, is playing with the lights and the darks. Okay, um, I think we're good. I think we've got some really pretty flowers, and um, we've sort of kind of got it, everything all sort of melted in together like you might see watercolors do. And we've got some pretty blue greens up here and some oranges and we've got some nice colors down in here that are just some pinks maybe I want to touch. Always like having something with a slightly different color to it. Okay. And there we have it, you guys. I'm saying I'm done. I think I'll just sign it. This is a wagon wheels, um, you know, flowers and, you know, wagon wheels. I don't have a good title for it yet, but I bet the time I do the introduction. But this is basically if you're asking me what do you do in a um, regular lesson at gingercooklive.gallery? John and I kid around a lot um, when we're doing live shows, but when I'm teaching you, it's just my voice. And I um, want you to um, know that that's what this is, the way it is. It's just my voice. And you're going to get, you know, really, I think, first-rate instruction on how to paint things. And I hope that's certainly my intention when I, you know, do any of this. So you see, I can barely put my brush down because I still think things that might be interesting to do, kind of add some colors and flowers and so forth. All right, so there we go. That's it. You have it there. And uh, this is this has been really fun. Let's take a little bit of ultramarine blue and white. She's not done. I don't think so. I think I want, I guess I've got that color right here. I guess I'm okay. I'm just, let me just come up like this. There we go. There. Ooh, that's, that's pretty, isn't it? That's pretty. Let's just do this like that. Then skinny that up. Bring it that way. Bring this this way. And how about, how about, because it's a dark right here by these flowers, how about if we darken this right here next to those? If those would show up a little more? Yeah, that's so, huh? Okay. So... Wagon Wheels and the Flowers, I think is the name, it's the title of this. And we'll make sure that the corners, the dark green corners, we've got some sort of dark green on the corners. Think about coming over to our academy. Try us for a week. It's just uh, $9.95 for a week. We have over 300 lessons. If you liked how this lesson was presented, you felt like you got a lot out of it, and you could uh, kind of slow it down and kind of figure out what we're painting. Um, we do everything from um, photorealism, start you with the very basics, and get you um, uh, up to really far advanced things, okay? So, okay, you see me coming into the wheel again like that, crossing in front of it in a few places. That's important, okay? Kind of bring the, our flowers into this. That's what we're doing, okay? I got a little more light green. Might even... Awesome, something like that. There you go. Let's break up some, break up something. I like that. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm signing it. She's going. Well, when was she going to sign it? Well, I'm signing it. Don't, don't panic. I'm signing it. Here's my little Posca pen. Is that going to be a clear one? I don't know. These were some of the first ones we bought. I think I'll sign it right here on this leaf. Okay. And if you enjoyed this, uh, 
this whole next two weeks we're going to be doing this kind of tutorial. We would appreciate it if you would share the um, videos and um, talk to, you know, if you join our Facebook club, let us see what you've painted. Very excited to be able to share this with you. And uh, listen, thanks for watching. Have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. This is Ginger signing off. And I'm coming up here like this. And I'm doing this like this. There we go. Sorry. Had to do one more thing. Isn't that always with me? One more thing. All right, you guys. That was fun. Zoom in so you can kind of see what we did.